Welcome back to the top apps of February 2018. This month I have one wallpaper, six apps, and four games. Let's check them out. The first app on this list is a wallpaper called AMOLED Walls. This has 160 dark themed wallpapers to choose from which look great on any AMOLED device. Each one is custom made and handpicked by Bin and Raid. They're all in 2K resolution so they will look sharp and gorgeous. My favorite one is rainbow as the colors at the top fit perfectly with my clock widget. By the way, I know you're probably going to ask in the comments what my clock widget is, so it comes from a KWGT app called Yos Lee. Anyways, if you want some beautiful black themed wallpapers, check out AMOLED Walls. Thrive is the next app on this list, and with this you can control how long you use your phone. It does this by letting you block all your apps, notifications, calls, and texts for a set amount of time. However, calls and texts from your select favorite contacts will always go through. If someone tries to call or text you while you're not able to use your phone, Thrive will auto-reply letting them know that you're taking time away from your addiction. Not only that, but you can also limit the amount of time you use an app, and once you reach the time limit, you won't be able to access it until 12 a.m. the next day. So if you're addicted to your phone and want to set boundaries with technology, try out Thrive. If you're annoyed with the loads of empty folders within your file manager left from uninstalled apps, you can use Empty Folder Cleaner to get rid of them all right away. It can quickly delete those leftover folders within your internal storage, but you will need root if you also want to instantly remove those from your external storage such as the SD card. Sure, this may not be of use to most people, but the select few who hate clutter in their file explorer will appreciate this. Lofi is an excellent app if you're into lo-fi music. I don't usually review music players, but when I stumbled upon this one, I was shocked to hear how relaxing and satisfying these tunes were. The app has a straightforward interface with music controls, categorization, and artist info, and the wallpapers also fit in perfectly with the type of music that you're listening to. It can even play these beats offline, so internet shouldn't be an issue. It doesn't have that many songs, but they do add some new ones in on the regular with the permission of the artist. Check it out if you want some fantastic background music when you're with your friends. If for whatever reason you want a second phone number for free, then check out Second Line. All you need to do is sign up with a free account, choose from the selection of US or California numbers, and that's it. Now you can message or call anyone with a separate number and receive texts or calls. Texting is unlimited, as well as calls made to the US or Canada. You can call internationally, but they will charge you depending on the country you choose. Either way, I haven't had any issues with this app. It works perfectly, and if you decide to get the premium version, you can lock in your phone number, forward phone calls, have voicemail transcriptions, and more. If you use the official Twitter app, then you probably noticed that they removed an awesome feature from the sidebar called Highlights, and instead put them in your notifications, which is a bit harder to find if you receive constant activity. Basically, this feature shows you some of the most popular tweets from the people you follow, and it was one of the main reasons why I installed the official Twitter app in the first place instead of a third party one. With Highlighter though, you can open it up instantly. Just install it, open it, and Twitter highlights will appear once again within the official Twitter app. It's a simple app, yet a handy one. Switching to the games, the first one is called Orbia. This is one of the most addicting games I've ever played. I installed it, opened it, and I couldn't close it. I even beat the first 90 levels. The objective here is to have your little white monster jump from bubble to bubble without hitting one of the black monsters. You have to time it just right or you will lose. Some perks will help you along the way such as shields for a second chance, a shoe to go faster, a sand timer to slow down the speed of your enemies, and more. There are over 400 levels to unlock with various worlds, so you will have plenty of gameplay. The graphics are great and it's extremely fun. Run Sausage Run is a trending game on the Play Store that has managed to rack up over 10 million installs and I believe it's because of the concept and graphics. It's a standard free to play endless runner, but you're a sausage or bacon that is trying to run away from the kitchen while also trying to avoid dangerous kitchen utensils such as knives, grills, hammers, and more. The numerous gruesome ways your sausage can die is quite entertaining. Plus, it's not a pay to win game. You can pay a single in-app purchase of a dollar to remove ads, or $2.99 to double your coinage, but those are just to unlock skins. Overall, a great way to kill time. I wanted to bring back a classic called Blueprint 3D, as I remember having so much fun with this game, and it's still really entertaining. It's a puzzle game that will put your visual skills to the test. Each level begins with a mysterious clutter of chaotic dots and lines, but if you rotate and drag the objects around, they will form a beautiful blueprint image of an object. It can be a famous building, electronic device, military stuff, and more. There are more than 300 levels with 11 theme packs, and each one is unique and creative. Definitely recommend. The last game on this list is called Gibbets. The gameplay is simple. You have a couple of guys trying to hang themselves, and your objective is to stop them by shooting an arrow through the ropes. 
They will die if you don't cut the rope in time or if you accidentally shoot them with the arrow, which will make you lose. It can get pretty challenging as they place characters in weird positions, but you will eventually pass the level if you keep at it. Well, those are the top apps of February 2018. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like on this video and let me know in the comments what apps or games you would like for me to feature on the next episode down in the comments. Also, I'm still giving away over 400 promo codes on my Twitter at HowToMens, so if you want a chance at winning one, go ahead and follow me there. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!